year continues to celebrate everything crossover as we saw the 2023 Sportage being unveiled. The SUV gained some power, new features, new style, and new relevance, which separates itself in a showroom packed with SUVs that are separated by fairly small differences in the sticker price. Will the 2023 Sportage prove to us that it has more to offer than just a wild-looking exterior? Let's find out! Before we continue, if you're new to the channel, welcome! This is Cars in Reach, and if you've not already taken the action, Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and let's get you going with some of the best car content you can think of. Now let's head back to what we have for you today. The upcoming Sportage has gone from being one of the smallest vehicles in the segment to become one of the largest, which is why it's hard calling it a compact SUV. The 2023 model has grown by 7.1 inches in length and 3.4 inches in wheelbase over the outgoing model. Outside, the car brings unique features like a set of alien-looking headlights and a distinct grille design, front and rear bumpers with satin chrome, gloss black side mirrors, window surrounds, raised roof rack rails, and unique 19-inch wheels. For a more off-roading experience, the new X-Line Pro trim brings in a 17-inch matte black wheel with BF Goodrich all-terrain tires, LED fog lights, optional LED headlights, a heated windshield and wiper washer nozzles, an available two-tone roof, and new multi-terrain drive modes. Inside, the car will mesmerize you with its snazzy design, highlighted by a huge digital display on the dashboard and other various details. The center console offers a shift knob, a push to start button, and a number of other controls that blend into the piano black bezel. Thanks to the bigger dimensions and a longer wheelbase, the Sportage has more rear seat legroom, making back passengers comfortable during commutes, and 40 cubic feet of cargo space behind the back seat, as well as a dual-level cargo floor for even more versatility. On the infotainment segment, the Sportage comes standard with many desirable features such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. All models come standard with an 8-inch infotainment display with a digital gauge display. Upgrading to the larger infotainment display will give you a 12.3-inch touchscreen that provides more connectivity and crisper graphics. Under the 2023 Sportage's hood is a 2.5-litre four-cylinder engine mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission that produces 187 horsepower and 178 pound-feet of torque. The vehicle goes from zero to 60 miles per hour in the mid-seven-second range. In terms of warranty coverage, Kia has one of the best and longest warranty plans out there. However, it lacks complementary maintenance. Its limited warranty covers 5 years or 60,000 miles, while the powertrain warranty covers 10 years or 100,000 miles. The new 2023 Kia Sportage will now be built along with the other Kia models at the West Point Georgia assembly plant. The new units are estimated to arrive in showrooms in the winter of 2022, with prices ranging from $27,245 for the base LX with front-wheel drive to $38,045 for the X-Pro Prestige with all-wheel drive. The 2023 Kia Sportage will compete with the likes of Chevrolet Equinox, Ford Escape, Honda CRV, Jeep Cherokee, Mazda CX-5, Mitsubishi Outlander, Nissan Rogue, Subaru Forester, Toyota RAV4, and Volkswagen Tiguan. Did I miss anyone? Drop them in the comments section. What are your thoughts on the 2023 Kia Sportage? Is it a vehicle you see yourself driving daily? We would love to hear your responses, so kindly share them in the comments section. Also, don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel as well as turn on the notification bell button. See you in the next video.